Soccer's popularity in America keeps growing and growing, but if you go to just about any other country in the world, soccer, or football as they call it, isn't just a game, it's an overriding obsession. And for the developers of World Tour Soccer 2003, it's a way of life. I think soccer in um, uh, the UK is probably analogous to uh, baseball in the States. It's, it's a national institution, it's just what people do. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a dream job really. Um, to work on a, on a soccer game and to have played soccer like, all my life is just fantastic. You know, If you don't play football, you don't watch football, you can't really put the detail of the game in. During the development of World Tour Soccer 2003, no detail was too small to worry about, and that started with the hundreds of soccer teams from around the world. We've got just about every major league team from across the world. There's roughly 700 teams. We have leagues such as the English League, Italian, Spanish, German, American, Brazilian, Argentinian, Mexican, Korean and Japanese. Teams like Manchester, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, all the big names. Of course, with over 700 teams, that means there are thousands of players in the game. I think it worked out that we had about 14 to 15,000 players. I don't know the exact number. Some of those players are made up. For instance, players in the school teams that's in our career mode. But the majority, 12 to 13,000, are all real players. So, <laughs> it's a hell of a lot. <laughs> To create that many players is a huge amount of work for the developers. To build ahead it takes roughly two days. Um, you would have to find a good resource material first of all to start with. This would be a front profile, a side profile and even a back profile of that person. And what we do with these three profiles is blend them into a, you call it a, a template, a flat 2D image of that player. And every adjustment that we make to each 2D template, we constantly apply it to the model. And uh, to apply it to the head model, you have a mapping coordinate. And this mapping coordinate is a projection to onto the model. This is a, a skill of its own as well. The depth of World Tour Soccer 2003 can be found not only in the number of players and teams, but in the number of play modes and competitions available. There's about 65 different competitions. So you have league games, domestic cup games, European competition. On top of that, we've added a thing called uh, the transfer mode. So the idea is that when you win competitions, you get money. You can then take that money and you can go and buy the best players in the world. So you can actually start off with a very, very junior team. And as your gate receipts increase, though, you can go through from uh, amateur leagues through to, say, the British Premier League by uh, buying and selling players from abroad. For any sports game, the control of the action is one of the key factors, and the World Tour Soccer 2003 team spent a lot of time trying to get it just right. Uh, the control system has been designed so you can actually pick up and play the game with just three basic buttons. That's just be able to run around, dribble, tackle and shoot. We then have kind of uh, an extra depth of functionality on the shoulder buttons. So we have our sprinting there, and if you hold down sprint, you'll run. If you tap it, you'll knock the ball ahead so you can burst past players. You go past someone with the ball, press R2, and that allows you to dive. If they're close, it'll look like it's been fouled. On the L shoulder buttons, we have uh, skill moves. So we have shimmies, and we have spins, and we have step overs. So it's really Brazilian in feel. It looks really flash. When you're defending, we have assists. If someone's through on goal, you hold down L2, and the keeper will run out to narrow down the angles and make it harder to score. If you press down R2, you do a deliberate foul, and that's something for like taking out a star player and they try and break his legs, basically. We have a great range of uh, tackles in our game as well. So uh, there's a great deal of functionality. And each one of the moves has been brought to life through the detailed animation in the game. The cutscenes which we have are particularly difficult because you've got a number of people that are actually in the cutscenes all at once. Say for example you've got Celebration, you've got six or seven players all running around in a scene at once and uh, they're motion captured all together but the animations are all provided to us uh, singly so the animators not only have to clean them up but they have to reconstruct all of the cutscenes by bringing the, the players back into the scene one by one by one and making sure that they all come together and interact and hit each other and bounce off each other and uh, work with each other in, in a very natural way. So that's quite, quite a lot of hard work. In fact, on the outside, that's probably the single biggest job on the, the entire production.
It's clear that World Tour Soccer 2003 is an amazingly detailed game, a game that's custom made for the soccer fanatic. What we wanted to do is do it all and uh, make a soccer game that we wanted to play and, and appeal to us, so I hope it appeals to everybody else as well. 